I slept like four and a half hours. But let's go. Uh, good morning. Had a nice woman here. It's really good to have this pool in here. Uh, and now let's, I think I'm gonna get some coffee and then get the day started. Well, the day, I already started the day. Posted a video yesterday on LinkedIn, which is doing really well. Apparently it's doing really well. Already got 8,000 views and it's like eight hours up, 10 hours up or something. So that's a good thing. I hope you're having a good day. Yo, what's up beautiful people? So I spent the morning um, kind of like reworking my LinkedIn profile and I thought because I decided I wanna kind of like share more, you know, nitty gritty tips and tricks, like things I use and do um, on this vlog. And so I wanted to talk a bit about LinkedIn because I think um, LinkedIn right now is a massive opportunity if you have a business especially if you have a client-based business where you know you have to generate leads generate clients and um, that's currently how I for the company that we are building here you know that's our office that's Ricky here um, how I literally like generate all of our leads it's through inbound on LinkedIn of people who see my videos who see my content and based on that content they reach out to me and um, from there, um, we go on and talk about, you know, how we, Project 33, can help them build their personal brand. Um, and so, there are some things, so I've been optimizing my profile more, and I've been learning more things about, you know, how, how to get better at that, how to convert more people, how to generate more leads, and I wanted to share, like, just a handful of them. Um, I hope they're useful for you guys. Um, to some of you and so I'm gonna jump into screen record right now and kind of walk through that right now Shit, I wanted to snap. Yo, what's up? So we are now in my LinkedIn profile as you guys can see and I'm not gonna go through all of the like very generic things you can do to optimize your profile um, Because there are lots of videos out there actually my friend Quentin made a very good video on all the things you got to do to have a good profile, you know write your summary, write your headline, this thing here, write a good summary, um, you know, add off all of your job descriptions. I'm gonna like link the video up here right now. So if you still haven't like created a LinkedIn or still gotta write your profile, do that first. But once you're done with that, I just wanted to go over like a couple of quick things that I realize make a big difference for, um, for using LinkedIn for lead generation. So obviously the biggest thing you gotta do is create content because the way I think about this is that this, your profile, is basically your landing page. It's your product landing page, right? This is where you sell people. Now, you obviously need traffic to your landing page because if no one visits your landing page, you can't convert people. And so that's content on LinkedIn right now. That is you posting videos, you posting images, you posting written status updates, posting blog posts, um, even you engaging with other people's content because that's gonna show up on, on other people's feed. Um, that's how you drive traffic. So you first need to go out and after you optimize your profile with that link that, you know, that, that I'm gonna show you with, with Quentin. And by the way, he's amazing. You should follow him on LinkedIn if you wanna figure out how to do it right. Um, and then you need to start creating content, you know, around your target audience, you know, you could be documenting your life. You could be, you know, sharing tips and tricks about anything like specific things. Um, once you have that, you will have traffic of people visiting your profile. And here are like just a couple of things that I noticed make a difference for lead generation. The first thing is you do not convert people on the videos. It's not like, and that's kind of how I thought about it first. It's like you make a great video, you know, and people watch that video and they're like, oh my God, I like this video. I'm gonna reach out to that person and ask them, you know, to help me or to buy their services or whatever. That's not how it happens. People watch the video, sometimes they first need one, two, three, four, five videos. Then from there on, they go to your profile and that's really where you sell people. That's why I said it's your landing page. And so one thing you gotta make sure is that in your summary here, so this is, this is the first thing people see if they, I'm gonna reload my page right now. If they stumble upon your LinkedIn profile because they found your content, um, they're first gonna see this, and they're gonna see your headline and then hear your summary. And this is where you want to pitch your service and be very like 
be very specific of what you can do for people. I started out with just a quick bio summary, who I am, and especially included um, credibility, right? Fundraise $40,000, engaged audience of 35,000 plus followers across platforms, 1.2 million impression, 1 million total video views. Like you wanna include something that shows that you, you have some data to back up like what you wanna help people with. But then it's super important like this part, and this is something that I current, like just recently um, put on here, but like be very specific of what, what you can do for people. You know, make a bullet point list of the services that you provide. People need to see that. And, and don't write too long of a summary, you know, like write your whole life down. Like people don't care about where you grew up and, you know, what school you went to. Um, they care about results you've gotten for yourself and kind of like a little bit of your background, where you're coming from. And then they care about how they can profit from what you're doing so how you can help them and then have a call to action at the end um, this can be you know for us it's our website it can be you know send an email it can be send me a message on linkedin it can be um schedule call call or whatever so this is super important let people know very specifically how you help them and then the other thing that i realized makes a big big difference is Obviously, when you add all of your job experiences, again, look at the other video that I'm going to tag with Quentin Alums. Make sure that, you know, you have company pages for all of them. Make sure you have like a clean title for all of them. Make sure you have like written something to all of your experiences, like have a short text. Make sure that you have that. But what I wanted to talk about, one thing that I realized is super powerful is to not necessarily talk about, you know, what you want to do or what this is about, but really like in bullet points, talk about the results you've gotten, like something tangible. And I want to give an example here. This is project 33 again. I have the same thing again, how we can help you get to the point. Um, here, when I say speaker, I immediately list like the, the things that I've, where I've spoken at before. Um, and then here, for example, I have LinkedIn creator because I post stuff on LinkedIn. So I have it like as an experience. But then again, like I don't talk about, hey, you know, I decided to start posting on LinkedIn and I'm having fun and I'm super driven. Um, like don't use these like mushy, gushy kind of like emotional words that don't really say anything. Like I'm driven. I'm passionate. I care about things like like anyone can say that. Um, but talk about, you know, numbers. And so here I added these three bullet points, like kind of the strongest numbers I've gotten over 1 million total video and content views, reaching 50,000 50, plus people every month and created one of the first video channels on the platform. And then kind of similar here with Instagram, started in 2017, grew to 26,000 followers, averaging 1.2 million impressions. Again, YouTube grew the channel to now over 1,300 subscribers for 40,000 plus total video views, maintaining an unbroken streak of 16, 160 plus consecutive days. So here, really important, like three things. Talk about results, you know, and, and if you haven't gotten like many big results, like still talk about that or talk about what you achieve for yourself. Include numbers, like get really specific and tangible, not you know, I posted content and people really like it. Like talk about, you know, how many people you reach and how many views you've gotten and then bullet points. Um, people don't have a lot of time. They won't spend 30 minutes reading to your profile. So make it easy for them to see all the important stuff um, in one go. And that is basically the two things that I wanted to talk about that I realized have the biggest impact for me in terms of um, lead generation and how many people reach out. To summarize, include how you can help people, very tangible, very specifically, um, don't be shy about it, let people know what you can do for them. And then when you write about all your experience, get specific, include numbers and write bullet points. And then I wanted to share one kind of like tool that I think is super useful. Um, and that website is called Resume Worded. And it's basically, you can use it to, um, to see kind of like how well optimized your profile is. It's not super accurate. Um, like you can always, um, it's obviously missing stuff and it's always, you wanna, you know, have it personalized, but I think it's a super useful um, tool. And so I wanted to walk you through kind of like, once you've done all of that, once you created your LinkedIn, once you watch Quentin's video and optimize your profile, 
once you actually started creating content and then you you know implemented these things to to maximize the amounts of leads that you can generate through your profile then you can use this to kind of like look at your profile and do some like slight tiny adjustments so you again you go to resume word it um, by the way this is not sponsored or anything um, resume word it then you go to LinkedIn review, upload LinkedIn. You go back to your profile and then you scroll all the way to the top. You click here, more, you save your profile as PDF. Then it will kind of like export um, your profile as a PDF file. Is it doing that? There we go, profile. And then you can go back here, here, boom. Then you upload here the PDF, and then it will slowly go through your profile. And I can speed this up. Then it will spit out the score from zero to 100. I have an 80, which I'm super proud of. Oh my God, I have an 80. Um, and yeah, and then it kind of gives you a breakdown, you know, headline, summary, experience, education, and other kind of how you perform, and then you get some, you know, 10 out of 10, how it looks, you know, how it shows up for other people. And then, you know, your summary, eight out of 10, made a great start, but we think your summary can still be improved. And then it gives you feedback, some free checks, summary length. It wants mine to be a bit longer. I actually like the length of mine. Apparently it says I have some spelling errors, so I'm gonna go through that and look if I misspelled anything. Um, and then based on that, it's gonna give you some recommendations of like things you can still improve. I think if you wanna get all the data, you kind of have to get like the full version and have to pay for it. Let's see, upgrade. Yeah, you have to buy $19. I didn't do that. But if you wanna get all the nitty gritty stuff, then I guess you can pay $19 once, once and like really get all the stuff. Um, but even if you use the free version, you already get like a lot of valuable tips in my opinion. And you will see, you know, whether this changes you make, um, because you can, I would suggest for you to upload it before you do anything and then implement the things from Quentin's video and maybe this video, and then check the score again. And hopefully you should see some improvement with that. So that's kind of like my, my couple of things that I learned um, had an impact on how, how many people reach out to me about, you know, basically how many leads I can generate with this. So I hope this is useful. Let me actually know if you like this kind of format and if I should do this more often um, whenever I find like random things that I'm using or that I think are valuable or that I'm implementing right now. And then I can do this more often. So yeah, let me know. And then... This is awkward. <laughs> I was like, where? This is so warm. I was like, where the fuck are you going with this? What the fuck? Yeah, isn't it warm as fuck? It's too warm. Uh. You should do a LinkedIn video from here. Be like, hey guys, working. What up, bitches? We're wrapping up the day. We got some food. I got some salad with salmon and some asparagus. What did you get? Uh, steak with veggies and mashed potatoes. What did you get? I got a healthy burger. It's not healthy. It's super healthy. Don't try to justify it. Has, it. it has french fries, caramelized onions, an egg, beef, and crispy as fuck bacon. Great. Nice. Um, yeah, wrapping up the vlog. See you tomorrow. I have one more call tonight, and then we're, we're heading, hitting the, um, what's it called? Bad. Words, words. Words, <laughs> words, words. Peace out. Hard to wake up when there's no alarm to wake you up Sitting, breathing, doing all the things I hate, love